Welcome. In the quiet corners of our world beneath daily life lies a realm of patient creation, where stone and crystal form over eons. Join us as we uncover the hidden beauty within ordinary rocks, revealing nature's artistry and the wonder beneath the surface. Let's begin our calm exploration, stepping softly into the geological theatre of our planet, where the most unassuming stones hold spectacular secrets. Kimberlite looks like just another dull rock, but it's a rare volcanic stone that carries diamonds from deep within the Earth's mantle. Its journey is explosive, erupting in a supersonic blast, carving a pipe through the crust and bringing hidden treasures to the surface. Kimberlite's plain exterior hides the incandescent fire of diamonds waiting millennia to be discovered. Imagine a place deep within our planet, a realm so alien that its pressures could crush any man-made vessel into dust. Here, temperatures soar to over a thousand degrees Celsius. It is in this hostile, incandescent environment within the Earth's upper mantle that diamonds are born. For millions, sometimes billions of years, these crystals grow atom by atom, their carbon bonds forged into an unbreakable lattice. They are prisoners of the deep, locked away far from the sunlit world. Their only hope of escape lies with a very specific and violent geological event that gives rise to kimberlite. The formation of a kimberlite pipe is an event of incredible power. It begins with a volatile mix of carbon dioxide and water, superheating and expanding deep within the mantle. This expansion creates immense pressure, which eventually finds a weak point in the overlying rock. The resulting eruption is not a flow, but a cataclysmic explosion. The magma, which will become kimberlite, rockets upwards at speeds that can exceed the speed of sound. A furious, unstoppable column of gas and molten rock tearing through the Earth's crust in a matter of hours, a geological instant. As this ferocious eruption travels upwards, it acts as a cosmic sampler, ripping fragments of rock from the walls of the conduit it creates. These fragments are known as xenoliths, or foreign rocks. Crucially, among these captured passengers are the diamonds, plucked from their mantle home and carried on this violent upward journey. The magma cools and solidifies with incredible speed trapping the diamonds and other mantle minerals within its matrix. This rapid ascent is vital. If it were any slower, the diamonds would revert to graphite, their fiery brilliance lost to the heat and changing pressure. The result is a vertical carrot-shaped geological feature known as a kimberlite pipe. Once the eruption ceases, what remains is a column of this unique solidified rock often stretching several kilometers deep, but perhaps only a few hundred meters across at the surface. These pipes are the primary sources of diamonds, ancient volcanic scars on the planet's surface. Each piece of kimberlite, therefore, is a fragment of this incredible story, a story of immense pressure, unimaginable heat, and a journey faster than sound from the heart of the world. To find kimberlite is no simple task. Prospectors cannot simply wander the landscape hoping to stumble upon it. Instead, they must become geological detectives, searching for subtle clues left behind by these ancient explosive events. The kimberlite pipes themselves are often covered by meters of soil and vegetation, their surfaces weathered over millions of years into obscurity. The search, therefore, becomes a hunt for associated minerals, the fellow travellers that made the same frantic journey from the mantle alongside the diamonds. These are the indicator minerals. Among the most important of these indicators are garnets, chromite and ilmenite. These minerals are denser than most surface rocks and can be carried by water, concentrating in streams and rivers that flow over or near a hidden kimberlite pipe. Geologists will meticulously pan these streams, searching for the telltale glint of a pyrope garnet with its distinctive deep red colour 
or the dark sheen of ilmenite. Finding a concentration of these minerals is like finding a breadcrumb trail, a sign that the source, the kimberlite pipe, may be nearby. Each tiny grain is a clue pointing the way. Once a promising area is identified, the search becomes more technical. Magnetic surveys can be flown from the air, as kimberlite often has a different magnetic signature from the surrounding country rock. Soil sampling is another critical step, with scientists analysing the geochemistry of the Earth for traces of elements like nickel, chromium and niobium, which are typically enriched in kimberlite. It is a slow, painstaking process of elimination, narrowing down vast tracts of land to a single promising target, all based on the subtle chemical whispers left in the soil. Even when a pipe is finally located, there is no guarantee it will contain diamonds, or at least diamonds in economically viable quantities. Many kimberlite pipes are barren, but the rock itself, even without diamonds, is a geological marvel. Its texture, its composition of mantle-derived minerals like olivine and phlogopite, and the xenoliths it carries all provide invaluable information about the deep, unseen processes that shape our planet. Every piece of kimberlite is a page from a book written in the Earth's fiery core, a messenger that speaks of a world far beyond our reach. The moment of discovery, a rough diamond hidden in dark kimberlite is revealed. It appears dull and uncut, pure potential waiting to shine. Extracting it is delicate work. The diamond is harder than the rock that holds it. Diamonds attracted to Greece are separated from the worthless rock. In a master's hands, the stone is cut to reveal its fire, an ethereal beauty born from darkness. We now turn our attention from the fire of the Earth's mantle to the patient work of water and time. Our next subject is a remarkable fusion of the biological and the geological opalized wood. At first glance, one might find a piece of it and see only petrified wood, a common and fascinating fossil in its own right. It appears as a segment of a log or branch, its woody texture, its growth rings, its very grain perfectly preserved, yet turned entirely to stone. It feels heavy, solid and ancient. It is a ghost of a forest that lived millions of years ago. But within some of these stone relics, a second, more breathtaking miracle has occurred. The slow process of petrification, where organic material is replaced by minerals, has been infused with a touch of magic. Silica-rich water, the same ingredient that creates quartz and agate, has not only replaced the wood fibers, but has also settled into the microscopic voids and cracks within the fossil. And under very specific gentle conditions, this silica has not crystallized, but has instead formed a precious gemstone. It has formed Opal, the queen of gems. This transformation is a process of sublime patience. Over countless millennia, water laden with microscopic silica spheres percolates through the buried wood. As the water evaporates or conditions change, these tiny spheres settle out of the solution, stacking themselves in incredibly precise repeating lattices. This microscopic architecture is the secret to the opal's beauty. It is not a pigment or a mineral impurity that gives opal its color but the very structure of the stone itself, a structure that plays with light in a unique and captivating way, a phenomenon known as opalescence. Therefore, when we hold a piece of opalized wood, we are holding a double wonder. It is a perfect fossil, a tangible link to a primordial world of giant ferns and ancient trees, but it is also a potential treasure chest. Hidden beneath its rough, bark-like exterior, or lying within the fine grain of the stone, may be seams of pure, iridescent fire. It is a quiet testament to nature's ability to transform, to take the remnants of life, and, through the slow chemistry of the earth, turn them into a spectacle of shimmering otherworldly light.
To understand the beauty hidden within opalized wood, we must first understand the unique nature of opal itself. Unlike most gemstones, which are crystals with a rigid, ordered internal structure, opal is amorphous. It is a mineraloid composed of silica that has solidified without forming a crystalline lattice. Instead, as we have seen, it is made of countless submicroscopic spheres packed together like tiny marbles in a box. The size and arrangement of these spheres are everything. It is this order within chaos that gives birth to the gem's signature play of color. When light enters an opal, it travels through these layers of silica spheres. The light waves are diffracted or bent as they pass between them. This is the same principle that creates the colors on a soap bubble or a film of oil on water. Depending on the size of the spheres, different wavelengths of light, different colors, are bent and reflected back to the observer's eye. Smaller spheres will diffract blue and violet light, while larger spheres produce the warmer reds and oranges, the most prized colors in an opal. This is why, you know, an opal's appearance changes as you move it. As the angle of the light or the viewer's perspective shifts, different parts of the microscopic lattice catch the light and a different set of colors flashes into view. This dynamic shifting display is the lifeblood of the gem. It is a silent internal dance of light, a kaleidoscopic fire trapped within the stone. A single piece of opalized wood can contain a whole spectrum of these effects, from tiny pinpricks of blue and green to broad, flashing sheets of fiery red. The background color of the opal, known as its body tone, also plays a critical role. Common opal, or potch, has spheres that are randomly arranged, so light scatters instead of diffracting, resulting in a milky, opaque appearance with no play of color. But in precious opal, the spheres are uniform and perfectly stacked. When this occurs against a dark background within the wood, it creates the highly sought-after black opal, where the flashes of color appear with the most dramatic and brilliant contrast, like fireworks against a midnight sky. The hunt for opalized wood takes us to ancient volcanic landscapes, where forests were buried by ash millions of years ago. Prospectors search for fossilized logs, hoping to spot a flash of color, a hint of opal hidden within. If fortune smiles, rivers of color and pools of liquid light are revealed, a magical fire inside ancient wood. Each piece is a unique collaboration between tree and earth, a fossil and a canvas for nature's art. To hold a polished piece of opalized wood, is to hold a story of transformation, a relic of two worlds. Turn it in the light and fire ignites. Flashes of electric blue, green, orange and red erupt from the stony grain. It's a bridge between life and minerals, a symbol of rebirth and hidden beauty, where a forest of fire sleeps within stone. Basalt, born from Earth's molten heart, forms the bedrock of our oceans and continents. It may seem unremarkable, but within its dark embrace, it hides a secret. As lava cools, gas bubbles become tiny chambers, vesicles, where, over millennia, minerals slowly crystallize, creating hidden gems deep within the stone. Basalt, the unassuming guardian, quietly nurtures these treasures, a secret known only to the deep earth. Sapphires, cherished for their deep blue beauty, are born in the hidden chambers of humble basalt rock. Under immense pressure, mineral-rich fluids create corundum, the parent of all sapphires. Over millennia, weathering frees these gems, revealing their brilliance. Each sapphire is a hidden treasure, a perfect blue jewel born from fire and stone. Basalt hides more than sapphires. Its vesicles are tiny laboratories, creating a gallery of gemstones like zircon, garnet and peridot. Zircon dazzles in fiery reds and blues, while garnet glows like drops of wine, and peridot shines a vibrant green, each a hidden jewel waiting to be found. The discovery of these gems is really simple. 
Basalt's dark exterior hides its crystalline secrets, revealed only through patient observation and the gentle work of water over time. As basalt crumbles, gems like sapphires, zircons and garnets are left behind, waiting for a careful eye to uncover their hidden beauty. Serpentine, named for its sinuous, scaled look, can be found from California's hills to the Himalayas. This metamorphic rock, often waxy green, hides a dense, fibrous structure and sometimes even precious gems. Its humble exterior conceals a quiet promise. The ordinary, slowly transformed into the extraordinary by time and pressure. In serpentine, the greatest treasures are often hidden within the most modest of stones. Hidden within serpentine rock lies nephrite jade, a gem revered for millennia. Born from intense metamorphism, its tightly interlocked fibers give it strength surpassing steel. Treasured by cultures like the Chinese and Maori, nephrite jade is more than a stone. It's a testament to Earth's power and human reverence. Chrysotile, found in serpentine rock, is made of incredibly fine silky fibers, sometimes so dense they form solid veins. When these fibers are well aligned, they can be polished into cabochons that display a mesmerizing cat's eye effect called chatoyancy. This shimmering band of light is a hidden beauty, a secret woven within the heart of the serpent stone. Identifying gem quality serpentine is an art, combining science and sharp observation. Prospectors seek contact zones and subtle changes in color or texture, searching for signs of transformation. A flashlight can reveal hidden depths. Translucence hints at jade within. Treasure often hides in the ordinary, waiting for a patient eye to discover its quiet beauty. Geodes look plain on the outside, just lumpy, unremarkable stones. But inside, they hide breathtaking crystals formed over millions of years as mineral-rich water seeps in and slowly deposits layers. Each geode is a geological lottery ticket, its true beauty a complete mystery until cracked open. The magic lies in the unknown, waiting to be revealed. Opening a geode is a moment of pure discovery. A rough rock split to reveal a sparkling hidden world millions of years in the making. The contrast between the plain exterior and the glittering crystals inside is astonishing. Most geodes hold quartz, from clear rock crystal to deep amethyst and sometimes smoky quartz. Each geode is a unique mineral kingdom, a secret beauty revealed at last. Geode hunting is a journey, often through deserts or volcanic landscapes, where prospectors search for round, hollow rocks, lighter than their neighbors. The thrill? You never know what's inside. Simple calcite, dazzling amethyst, or rare crystals. Each geode is a hidden mystery waiting for the one who dares to crack it open. The geode is a powerful metaphor for potential. Its plain exterior hides a vibrant, crystalline world within, reminding us that true beauty and value are often hidden. Like the geode, our own talents and strengths may lie dormant, waiting for the right moment to shine. With patience and faith, we can discover the extraordinary within the ordinary. Our journey through the quiet world of overlooked stones comes to a close. From diamonds in kimberlite to opal in ancient wood and sapphires in basalt, the earth hides beauty in the most unexpected places. Keep seeking the hidden wonders beneath your feet. There's always more to discover.